Hello, everybody! My name is Peace Editor Brandon, and today, very, very, very excited because the project we have been in preparation for for quite some time is going to start actually making progress today. And if you're wondering why I had some fire resistance potions in my inventory, it's because I was actually just going into the nether for a quick drip. Uh, and I say that while looking at the dripping slime ball. Let's not uh, suggest that, shall we? But uh, I was actually going into the nether to grab some nether brick to finish off the last thing that we needed for the build. And you notice I got a saddle in my inventory too. I went mining off camera for just a short little bit. I did actually find... I gotta find out where my saddle thing is. Okay, there we go. I did actually find, while I was mining, a mineshaft. And I happened to find in the mineshaft a double spider spawner. And the middle of it is actually less than 15 blocks away in each direction. So... Could we possibly, could we possibly move our spider spawner to something that's uh, quite a few blocks away? We'll have to see. 200 and 400 blocks, I believe, but we'll have to see in the future. But anyways, today on How To Minecraft, we're going to be starting on the chest room. And when I say starting on the chest room, I actually mean we're going to work on the chest room now. And uh, if you're wondering what I'm doing with these blocks right now, I'm actually getting out some stairs because the chest room will need some stairs uh, when it gets around to it. And it will also need some stone brick, you know, in the form of stairs, obviously. So how this is going to work is basically I have all the materials that I need up there. And check out this helmet, by the way. I got this thing off a freaking zombie drop. That's four enchants right there. And they're not even that half bad. I mean, they're they're lower too. They're pretty bad. But I mean, that's, I don't know, that's cool. Sacrifice of the gods. Anyway, the Minecraft gods. So... We have everything that we need up there. We're gonna go grab, we're gonna keep some stone on us, keep some cobblestone on us. But aside from that, the only thing that we'll need is a crap ton of dark oak wood. And uh, I think with this, we'll be a okay to get rockin' and rollin'. So, for those of you that have not been able to catch the first two parts of this very, very long episode, and trust me, this is not all recorded in one sitting. I'm just calling it an episode because it's, you know, for the same purpose. I'll go ahead and have to disable this little guy over here. Um, I do recommend you go out and check out the first two parts, uh, chest room, the chest room, part one and part two, uh, before you watch this. But anyway, guys, I am so freaking excited for this build. You have absolutely no idea. The only thing we're going to need right here is one of these bad boys, if I can even click this at any given time. All right. So here's everything we're going to be using. We got the glowstone here. We got redstone here. Sticky pistons. 44 chests. We got slime balls. We got nether quartz. Pistons. Red sun torches. We got the whole shebang and repeaters. Anything your heart could possibly desire. What we're going to be doing to start off this build episode is actually by building the base thing around it. So we're not going to get into redstone straight away. We're going to have to wait a little while because that'll be after we build the majority of it. Building might come later after the redstone is done, but for the time being, we're just going to go ahead and build the floor. Now, the first thing that we want to do here is we're going to have to take all of these dark oak wood. Uh, for right now, actually, let's just leave it like this. We're going to need planks. Planks is going to be... Do we have any open inventory slots for this? I don't think we do. We don't really need... Hmm, what do we not need in our inventory? We kind of need everything in here except for that. Okay, we don't really need the gunpowder either. So the first thing we're going to be doing is actually plating down this whole floor with slabs. The reason we want the whole floor with slabs is because, actually, this place is going to be rather dark most of the time, and I'll get into the whole lighting situation uh, later on. But the reason we want slabs is because mobs actually can't spawn on slabs, at least when they're half into the ground like this, which is rather nice, because we don't need... And yeah, we're going to need a lot of the freaking slabs. Now let me just make sure, I got a little prototype over here on a creative world uh, that I'm referencing here just to make sure that everything is in complete control and order. So we're gonna need nine of these across, not counting this, so be like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And then we're gonna have this wrapped around, let me just go ahead and quickly check here. I know it's kinda like a cheat sheet, but I wanna make sure that I'm doing it the way that I actually, you know, would like to do. So. We're actually going to go ahead and knock out these right here, because we won't be needing these. What we're going to do is we're going to align some stairs 
right like this. So this will make it um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then this is nine across. So let's go ahead and see quickly right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I won't need this for the entire time. I'm just making sure the measurements are perfectly okay before we proceed with the build. Uh, and after that, don't worry, we'll be all okay. So, but yeah, guys. Thanks for sticking around for this. This build is going to just be freaking amazing. I'm going to try and make it so it'll blend in with most of the rest of the house. Uh, since I am using building blocks that are very commonly used in the rest of the place. One of these days, I'm really going to need to just break down that whole uh, snow area we got in there. Because I do want to do some designing in the house. And we may snowify the house later on uh, when Christmas does come around. But for now, we'll see. And this is actually the tricky thing. And we just got log in here. I think he's AFK at the moment. The tricky thing is, I'm pretty sure we're going to need another base of flooring underneath this as well. I think we'll actually need two bases of flooring, uh, two deep. So really quickly, I'm going to go ahead and just plug an area right here. Uh, this might be a little tricky to try and do. Ah, uh, geez, how am I going to be able to do this? Let's see. Plug up the walls, or plug up the spaces just like this. And we'll probably have to dig or put a little bit of this on the mountain and have the grass grow back later. That's perfectly fine. So let's see, because we're going to need to do some underground redstone. So obviously we'll need quite a bit of room in working here, which shouldn't be too much of a problem. We may actually need a third floor. I don't think so. I don't think. But if we need to, we can just go underneath and build more. Because we got a ton of scrap cobblestone here, which is what I brought it along for. Because I probably should have done this off camera, but I mean, hey, it's all building. Why not? Alright, one, two... I, I think this episode is probably going to get done in one or two more parts. Because I would imagine this build's probably going to take a little bit close to an hour. And I'll probably wind up splitting it up through like 30 minute segments or so. Uh, if that happens to be the case, we'll do some touch-ups on everything. So I think that right there should be okay. We may need to expand it out a little bit further, but let's just keep the base of that as is. God, it looks so ugly from the side of the mountain. Jesus, thank God nobody has to witness that. Whew, it just looks horrible. So anyway, we have this now. The next thing that we're going to need to do is actually wind up placing the sticky pistons. And I actually got six slime balls from going in the nether portal for some reason. And there were just slimes waiting for me. And they damaged my newly freshened armor. I was going to have this looking so nice for when the episode started, but ah, to sadly no avail. Anyway, so we got the sticky, uh, the slime balls right there. We got the sticky pistons all in our inventory right here. So what we'll need to do in terms of these is actually really quickly first. We might as well knock out two birds with one stone. We have the nether brick here. We're going to be making a ton of these stairs. In fact, is this going to be enough? Yeah, we have, yeah, that should be more than enough nether brick. We'll need the stairs for these. Yeah, stack and a half. That's perfectly fine. Okay. Now the sticky pistons, if I am correct, go right here. So they'll go one and two block under. So here's how we're going to do this. It'll be right here. Sticky pistons like so. Sticky pistons like so. And then we're going to have one in the middle. So there's going to be a sticky piston right there. Uh, I'll go ahead and link in the video description the tutorial that I use for this build. Actually, hold on. One quick second. I believe I have my dimensions off just slightly by one. Uh, let me check here. Wait a minute. Oh, I think this is where the dimensions are off a little bit. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. How the hell did that happen? Huh. All right. Well, better we caught that off. Yeah. <laughs> better we have the uh, smaller errors happen first and then you know, the non-repairable ones after. That was actually my fault, because I had, I thought I put the markers down, the two stone there, um, pretty good before the video had started. But I guess I was doing other things, listening to music. I don't know if you guys can hear my train outside either. I don't own the train, it just happens to pass by our house. I'm not that rich, I promise. But if I ever was that rich, I'd probably buy a train. Trains are pretty cool. I don't know, man. Like, I've always, I've loved trains, like, ever since I was young. I wasn't, like, a big fanatic on them or anything, but, I don't know, trains are always pretty cool. I think my first bed, like my first race car bed. Yes, I had a race car bed when I was younger. If you never had one, you really never lived. It didn't drive anywhere, but it was still pretty freaking sweet. Um, yeah, I think my first race car bed was actually, uh, had some trains on it, which sounds like the weirdest thing. A race car bed had trains on it. Go figure, honestly. All right, 
So after we did that, the next thing we'll need to do is actually place down the nether brick stairs on top of the sticky pistons. Oh god, the excavation for this is going to be brutal. We're probably going to need one or two more layers underneath. Okay. So, you might get the idea, if you're just trying to leave the excitement until later on to actually see what I'm doing, you may understand what I'm trying to do here, but uh, if not, you know, it's perfectly fine. So the next thing we'll need to do is actually, oh, 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 oh boy, let's see, we have all the wood in our inventory, so we got the dark oak wood right here, next thing we're going to need to do is actually place down the chests. So right here, we're going to put down, let me see, so I'm thinking, oh, this is my silk touch pick, isn't it? Yes, hello. Okay. The next thing we're going to need to do is place on the chest. Um, actually, you know what? For right now, we won't worry about the block underneath. We'll just do this so the whole thing's right. We'll finish any touch-ups later on because that shouldn't take too long. But we actually do need the chest in our inventory to proceed with this. Okay. So we got the dark oak planks right there. And we're going to put down... Oh, man, that got dark. And not as dark as those oak planks, but it got pretty freaking dark really fast there. Okay. So we got one chest right... Oh, yeah. Actually, you need to do it like this, aren't we? Whoa, freak! Oh, Jesus! Oh, man. I wasn't expecting that. Wait, I think I can fix this. Hold. Oh, jeez. Hold on. I think I can fix this. Wait. No, freak. Dang it. I forgot that this chest was here. It was going to completely disrupt everything. I have an idea, though. I have an ingenious idea. Watch this. You're going to take this here, and then we're just going to move everything under to these last three columns, and if I'm correct, this should work without having to transfer anything out or have anything break in the chest. So let's try it. I'm a freaking genius. I am a genius at heart. Like, honestly, can you even comprehend? Okay, so here's where we're actually just gonna go ahead and put down, what was it? I think I actually put it in this chest here. Yeah, the dark oak planks, okay. So we're going to put dark oak planks underneath here, because we may need to swap this out later on anyway, so might as well just knock out the two birds with one stone. And we're going to put the chests on top of these. The whole thing in total will house, I believe, uh, what is it? I think it's, so six chests over here, let's count it. So we got eight chests, ten chests, uh, twelve chests, fourteen chests, I'm not counting that right now. 16 chests. Oh, man. We got a very close amount. Very, very close amount, but we do have enough. All right. So this is how the whole thing looks in terms of the actual chests themselves. And now what we need to do is build a casing around these chests. So right around here, we're going to need to build just like... Actually, no. No, 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 no. Wait. We need to go one more up. So it needs to be right here, I think. Oh, man. My frames are dipping for some reason. That's weird. How many frames are we getting right now? 54! 57! What on earth, man? I think I'm not recording this to 60 frames. That would just be brutal on my computer. Alright. I think my computer does that after being on for a while. I think it's something with the hard drive. It just gets kind of tired after a little while and just, I don't know, kind of tires. We're going to have to build on top of that, aren't we? Oh, we're going to have to dig out quite a bit here. Ah, oh, jeez. This is going to be a very fun project. That's the Thoughton. Alright. Um, let's come around here. And we're going to have to do the same damn thing, aren't we? Yeah, okay. Um, you can all leave, and then you, as well, are going to have to leave. Oh, we're going to have to dig that whole thing out. Jesus, man, I'm not looking forward to this. I thought we already had all the excavation done, but... And then, you know, just maybe adding a few building blocks, but not to this caliber. I'm too lazy for this crap, man. I shouldn't have to do this. Someone else should do it for me. Pay someone to build for me on the How-To Minecraft server. Imagine I just had, like, people for hire on here. Oh, that would be honestly not cool, and I do not endorse that whatsoever. All right, so the next thing we're going to need to do, the next thing we're going to need to do is pop, I think I'm doing this kind of out of order, the way that it probably should be done. Um, all right, so let's see. What we'll need to do next, we're going to have to put down the other sticky pistons as well, the ones that go on top, so let's just dig out this area too. And I think we should have enough sticky pistons in total. Well, it needs some more for something that goes underneath it later on. But uh, if we put two right here, and then we put those. Yeah, okay. That'll work. Okay, so two sticky pistons like so. Like so. Um, Alright, gotta be careful. Two, one, two. One, two. One, two. 
one too. It's kind of interesting. Some people are saying in regards to the uh, the PvP and raiding phase or whatever it's going to be. I don't know any details about that. I haven't really been filled in. But a lot of you guys were saying that you're actually like not looking forward to that part too much. Because you kind of really like me just doing builds like this and that kind of stuff. And to be honest, I don't know. I'm indifferent about the whole thing. I, I kind of like both in a way, if that makes sense. Um, actually, I don't really know. Uh, how I can make that make sense necessarily, but I don't know. I, I, I'm looking forward to it, but I'm also kind of scared because I do want to keep building on this and just advance and make a ton of cool things and all that kind of crap. But anyway, so the next thing we're going to need to do is place three of these right here. Oh, it's getting dark. We got to make sure that mobs don't spawn on any of the stairs over here. I don't think they spawn on stair edges. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure the slabs and everything will have that completely covered. All right. And if I am correct, I think this is the first, like, stone brick that we're using on the house. Aside from the outline in the ring, I don't know if we've used any stone brick elsewhere. Hmm. Not sure. This place is looking rather nice, by the way. I'm just really afraid of, like, all the excavation stuff we'll have to do in the future. Okay. So the next thing that we'll need to do, let me just go ahead and quickly check over here, because I am doing this a little bit wacky in terms of the order. I think I'm actually going to put one more of these on top of here like so just to make it look a little bit even when these things close because you're probably getting the gist of how this is going to look these things are going to close and um yeah it's gonna it's gonna look sweet the whole thing's gonna be redstone powered there's a lot of preparation that went into this and for good cause that's for sure uh let's just dig out this little area right here in fact i think we'll need to dig out this whole roof um to actually get this thing or get the roof put in at least uh, hmm. Let me see how I have this configured on the place over here. Yeah, so the next thing we actually need to do is put down more of these stairs, which is why I have so many of them, and I think this will be enough. Wait, I didn't even need to chop the, shovel that out of my inventory. Oh, that's weird. I don't know why I took it out. Okay, so right like this is actually how we're going to be putting the stairs and having this curve around. So the stairs will overlap on top of each other and make it look like this. Yeah? Yeah? You see what I'm doing? It's looking really nice. I like the uh, the design that I'm giving this, like the block style. It's nothing too fancy, like it's not necessarily new blocks. Except this wood actually is new in 1.8, I believe, the dark oak wood. Actually, no, that might have been in 1.7. I'm not sure, don't quote me on that. I don't know my wood too well. Please don't sound like that. Alright, but yeah, I think we actually will need to dig out... Ooh, it's raining! That's always a beautiful thing. And we're almost about to dip underneath 30 frames. Yeah. My computer, I'm pretty sure it's just a hard drive recording, because I was getting close to, like, 800 before I hit the record button. But right now, I think it's just the, what you know, Western Digital saying, hey, I've been revving for a long time. Give me a little bit of slack. But it should turn out okay on the video, considering we are recording in only 30 frames. Which brings me to a topic. You guys have mentioned that you do miss the 60 frames episodes that I've done. I did a couple of those and a couple 60 FPS videos. They're not gone, necessarily. It's just a thing like they do require more rendering time and more um, a longer upload time. Upload isn't necessarily my biggest beef with it. It more just has to do with the fact that... Oh, God, this is ugly. Can we just, like... Ah, Jesus. Um, hold on. I need to get rid of all this cobblestone that's here. Like, man, this is absolutely horrible. Okay. Um... Yeah, but as I was saying, it just takes a little while longer, uh, and recently I've just been making sure that I can get the content out uh, at a reasonable time, because sometimes I'll like come home after school and render and upload then, and the video will come out at like 5 o'clock. If I was to do it in 60 FPS, it would probably come out at like 7 or 8, and that would be like 11 p.m. Eastern, uh, no chance in, you know, like Europe or anything like that. So... Let's go back to building, now that I've gotten my little rant taken care of. Next thing we'll need to do is... Oh boy! <laughs> my items are going to be able to be used back there. In fact, I can't get to my chest anymore. Oh no! Oh no, that's so sad. Okay. Um, we'll have to leave this little area open for the time being. We'll put in here, since we don't need the nether brick anymore, and we really don't need a soul sand. Um, we're just going to make more of the slabs and make a roof. Okay. So the first thing we'll do for the roof is we'll line it up evenly with the stairs to give it that kind of flowing appeal, or connected appeal, I should say. Why am I doing this? That's not what I was meant to be doing at all. Okay, I was meant to be doing like an outline to it, not this. 
I got a little bit too ahead of myself. Okay. So we do it as so. Like this. Have it connect to the stairs as well. Ooh, I may need to make this... I need to change... I think I'll need to change how this door is. Actually, yeah, I need to make a single door right here. That's one thing we'll have to do in the interior in just a short little while. After we're done building here. Because there's not going to be two entrances. It's just going to be a single entrance. Uh, for redstone complication purposes, we don't need two people walking at the same time and just messing up everything. Okay, so the next thing that we need to do is... Wait a minute, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me just make sure that I got this. If we put this right here, excellent. And then we put the slabs on top right there. Oh, hello. Can I have you back? There we go. Thank you. Okay, and now we can get rid of you. Squeaky chair. My apologies for that. Now we can build it like this. So it gives the it gives the roof a little bit of more of a an elevated feel, so it's not too flat. This is actually something I'll need to change in the uh, fishing room over here and there. But I haven't actually been back there in quite some time. I haven't needed to AFK the spawner in a little while since most of my things don't really need repairing. The pickaxe will, so I'll probably AFK there for a short bit. But uh, apart from that, I haven't really needed XP for much since I'm, for the most part, done enchanting. Just kind of getting repair books. Okay, so anyway, we have the roof done. The roof will actually need to be um, excavated out on top when we put some wiring above it. But for the time being, this is what she'll look like for the most part. The last thing that we'll need to do, actually... Now, there's two more parts we need to do in terms of building before we can continue. We'll need to grab some more... Um, and it's nighttime, too. This might make it a little bit challenging to go out there. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. We got dark oak planks. This is the next thing that we'll need to do is break out here. This is really complicated the way I have this whole thing set up. Where is the zombie is my question. Hey, uh, oh boy, there's a creeper up there too. Let's actually light that area up so no like creepers or anything come down and just ruin my day. Oh man, fighting at 30, 40 frames per second. I'm not used to that kind of life. I'd probably be better at it if I just had to do that all the time. Okay, so let's place the torches down and just light this area up. One, two, one, two, one, two, and one, two. I really need to light up like this entire area one of these days. Like, not just, like, the front area, but, like, everything. Light up everything. The side of the mountain, just get a bunch of torches and do a huge project on it. I really wish this rain would go away. It's making my frames even worse. Alright. Where's the zombie? Oh, he's down there. Come here, little guy. Yeah. Ding. Oh, you didn't get set on fire. Oh, yeah, it's raining. Dirt brain. Okay. So, the next thing that we need to do is now that we're up here, let's see. We need to actually go underneath again. And we need to make an outline of the chest like this. We already have the outline kind of done. Um, we'll just need to... Oh, yeah, we're going to actually have to extend this out one more as well. That shouldn't be too hard. So this will be so visibility is pretty limited. And then we'll get to the last building block. For right now, at least. Which is the fabled glowstone. I love glowstone. One of my favorite blocks ever. People say glowstone looks ugly in the default texture pack. Eh, I kind of agree, but I don't know. It's grown on me. It's like the new lapis. Actually, I kind of like the old lapis better, no matter what you say. It just, I don't know. The old lapis was just so much better, in my opinion. And for those that don't know what I'm talking about, look it up. The old lapis was pretty cool in comparison. Okay, dude. <laughs> You're like a freaking, like, worker zombie. Just going in with your hat and your shovel. Both, I'm here to work. Are you going to give me that raise today? I think I deserve that promotion pretty well. Oh, now I'm dead. What kind of helmet did you drop? Eh. Wow, not bad. Respiration is my, one of my favorite enchants, so... You get you get that raise from me. You get that raise. How the hell are we going to get back in this place? Um, <laughs> this is something I probably should have thought ahead about. Can we actually go in through here? No, we can't. This got snowed in. Can we go in through here? I guess we can kind of squeeze into this little area here for the time being. All right, so the last thing we'll need to do is grab the glowstone over here. Can we actually squeeze? Oh, look at those ninja skills right there. Kick ass. Okay, now here's where we need the glowstone. And here's where things get all fun and exciting with the lighting and stuff. Check this out. So we're going to put the glowstone. Oh, yeah, this is going to get a little bit complicated right here. We're going to put the glowstone right behind the chest six on each this way 
when you look inside, it'll give a kind of a stranger lighting effect because it'll be through the blocks. Yeah, here's here's where I was talking about it kind of getting weird. It'll give it a lighting effect through the blocks and make it look really, really cool and kind of eerie too when it's off. Because this place is going to be dark when it doesn't have anybody inside of it. Pretty cool how Etho designed this. I give full credit to Etho. This is not my build whatsoever. In fact, we have way too much glowstone. Actually, no, we'll need more glowstone in the future. So for right now, this is still good. And we'll need it for other builds. So I'm not regretting the time I spent in the nether. No, sorry. And just for my own OCD purposes, we'll leave dirt underneath there. Okay. And then back here, we should have just enough to fill up everything. Now, this will make the chest finally unaccessible for the most part. Uh, yeah, we're going to need to fix the whole chest room situation back here. All right, one, two, dirt right there. All right. Oh, my silk touch. Competition pickaxe. I love it. Even though I have my silk touch right there, I'm still using the competition pickaxe. Beautiful thing. Thank you, Choco. Thank you so much. Um, got the dirt right there. And that should be all the glowstone that we'll need in terms of behind the chest. Now let's just build a little walkway. On the edge here. This thing probably looks god awful from the outside. Hold on. How does this look? Oh, Lori, that looks horrible. <laughs> oh, that just looks awful. Um, actually, eh, it doesn't look too bad, but there's gonna be a lot of freaking redstone uh, come after a while, so in fact, actually, hmm. There's a part I think I messed up on. Did I mess up on a part, or am I just being weird? Um, no. I think I'm okay. I think I'm just looking at it weird. Yeah, yeah, I'm just looking at it weird. Okay. Yeah, we're good. I thought the dimensions of the roof were a little bit too low for some reason, but no, we're okay. So anyways, here's what she looks like. Wait. Here's what she looks like. Oh man, I'm gonna have to... Okay. <laughs> Again, here's what she looks like for right now. Um, the one thing we'll actually need to do right now just to make this look kind of even is break out this area underneath here. Ooh, look at that dark. That looks so cool. Okay. We'll need to break out the dark right like this and replace this with that right there. Excellent. To kind of make sure that that wraps around evenly. Oh, that looks disgusting. Uh, okay. So here's what she looks like. Yeah? You like it? I do. I love this a ton. Alright. So the last thing we're gonna do for right now, we'll do the redstone in a second episode. Because right now we got the pistons and everything down for the most part. But for the time being... Oh man, this is really a pain in the ass. Um, this chest could not have been in a worse position in the end. Okay, so here's what we'll need to do. We'll put the glowstone back in here. We'll put the sticky pistons back in here. Put the dark oak wood back in there. And the last thing we'll need to do in terms of decorating is redefine the interior. So what we're going to need to do... Is break down these doors break these down and replace them with uh, these oak uh, stairs here and we'll need to make a door right here so we'll go ahead and break this right here I'm sorry plant I'm sorry I can't pick you up I'm so sorry um, we're gonna put these to make it look even um, one there one there why the frick not okay so we got the plant and everything all right plants are nice I like them plants really make things look nice in Minecraft they had a very subtle touch Okay, so here's how we're going to do this. We'll need to... Do we have any spruce wood? No, we don't. Okay, really quickly. Oh, we have dark oak planks, though. So. Uh, where did I get the dark oak planks from? Have I just had these all along? I can't actually remember. All I know is we'll, we might as well put them to good use, I suppose. So we got the dark oak... Or, um... Yeah, we have the oak wood stairs, not dark oak. And we'll put these just like that. And we'll realign this... Right here. This room's gonna take up this whole wall, by the way, so we'll have to decorate this pretty nicely. Uh, and then right here is where we're gonna actually have to do the door design. And I'm thinking, let's just brush off this little area right here, just so we can get a little feel for it. Um, pardon me. Dispose of them in a very proper way. Uh, and then we'll leave the flower pot down, let's say right here. Let's figure out how we're gonna do the door. I'll, I'll fix that up in just a moment. The door can go something like, um, it's going to be three like this. And it'll be a pressure plate on the floor here. And then this is kind of weird how that works. What if we put the slabs 
like that and we put ooh hold on hold on i think i'm getting something here i think i'm getting something wait no i may i may do this differently hold up so we put that right like that and then we put that like that that like that and that like that how does this look eh, eh, eh. <laughs> eh. um that needs to be down like that 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 and that oh, oh one off let's see how this looks how does that look in terms of an entrance not very good and i think i know why these need to be flat down on the ground here no dang it all right where is the spruce wood spruce wood's right there actually no 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 we need dark wood for this the spruce wood we can actually put back in there and then we put let's see do we have enough oh we have just enough to fill up the walls perfect and then the dark oak wood can go back down there and then the dark oak stairs can go like this and like that. How does that look? Interesting for now, but I like it. It's okay. So we have this. This is how the entrance looks. Uh, we'll put two torches here because honestly, we. Um, where should we put these? Excellent. All right. So. This is the chest room right now. And you notice, the chest room is fully operational at the moment. So even between recording these episodes, I could get this whole thing, like, I could get all my chests moved in here straight away. But we'll leave uh, a little bit of time in before that. But anyways, that's going to go ahead and call it for this episode of How To Minecraft. We got the chest room looking sweet. And next episode, we make it automatic redstone and we get a lighting thing going for it. So, see you guys back in HTM episode 24. We're getting pretty close to that fable 25. Quarter of the way to 100, which I'm hoping is the end goal for this series. I don't know how long HTM is going to last. Because I imagine we'll keep doing something like it in the future. Maybe, I don't really know this group too much. Uh, in terms of how often we stick to SMPs. I know mod and stuff like Crazy Graph and all is pretty popular with this group. But... We'll see how long it goes for. I want to go to episode 100, which should only be a couple more months. And I imagine the server will be around much longer than that. So, nearly out of quarter. But anyway, this is going to go ahead and end it for episode 23 of How To Minecraft. Take care and have a fantastic day. See ya!